Do you know how composers write an unfortunate love theme for film or ballet music? Hello friends, today we will learn what is a diminished scale and how to use the correct and purposeful chord progression. The diminished scale is based on the formula of the sequential order of a half tone and a whole tone. This is called the diminished scale since this scale is the combination of two different diminished sevenths chords. For example, C diminished 7th and C sharp diminished 7th chords make the C diminished scale. However, it should be noted that this scale may also be referred to as the D sharp diminished scale as they contain the same piece. For instance, if start the scale from the D sharp and follow the same formula, then we will get a similar tone progression. D sharp E, F sharp, G, A, B flat, C, and C sharp. The same will happen with the F sharp and the A diminished scale. So, in conclusion, the C, D sharp, F sharp, and the A diminished scales have the same meaning. Once we learn the formula of the scale, let's discover this in detail. This scale contains four minor triads C minor, D sharp minor, F sharp minor, and A minor. Four major triads C major, E flat major, F sharp major, and A major. Eight diminished triads that can be made from any tone of the scale C, D sharp, F sharp, and A as well as the C sharp, E, G, and the B flat. In this way, we have learned the basic information about the possible cuts. So the question is, what do we get out of this information? Of course, you can have completely different harmonies by random arrangement of these cuts. But this approach will lead you in a different direction each time you do it. However, if we consciously combine chords, we can create different musical emotions, and this is one of the most important issues in descriptive music. So, the diminished scale and its different chord combinations are so wide that you can create music with themes such as horror, action, drama, love, and so on. Therefore, my goal in this lesson is to show on the chord progressions used to describe emotions such as depression, tension, hopelessness. We will use two approaches for this. First, select two major triads placed close together. Our first chord is C major, and the chords close to it are E flat major and A major. The arrangement of chords in such third intervals is called chromatic medias. However, we won't go into this topic today because it requires a very detailed explanation. Our goal is to combine only two chords and to get a polychord. So let's put E flat major above C major. The G is the common tone and it will be used just like a connecting tone. The next combination is the E flat major and the F sharp major. Here the B flat or enharmonic A sharp is the connecting tone. The A major is over the F sharp major. The last one is the combination of the A major and C major. 
play this course a lot on the piano. You will be able to use them immediately when composing melodies. The second set is based on minor triads. Again, our goal is to create a polychord. So, the A is the common tone between the A minor and F sharp minor. The next combination is the C minor over the A minor. Again, the D sharp minor is above the C minor. The last one is the combination of D sharp minor and F sharp minor. As you observed, all scale tones have been harmonized. This is our harmonic vocabulary for today's lesson. Now I'm going to show you how to harmonize a melody that is written on a diminished scale. The process is very simple. Even students who cannot play the piano can easily practice. Suppose we have written such a melody. Now we want to harmonize this melody so that the feeling the music gives to the listener is sadness, depression, separation, and anticipation. And this remains unchanged throughout the melody. So let it not touch other feelings or emotions. The rule for this is very simple. The top note of the harmony should be considered as the melodic tone. The melody starts with a G note. If you want to harmonize this note, you will look at the chord sequence. Whichever chord's melodic tone is a G note, you will add it below the melody. That's all. The next one is A. I'm leaving this note. However, if you wish, you can harmonize each melody note separately. For example, the A note can be harmonized by the combination of A major plus F sharp major. Let's move on. The next note is the B flat. Since the A sharp is an enharmonic of the B flat, let's drag this one and drop it below the melody. Subsequent melody tones will be harmonized in the same way. Look, the listener will always have the same feeling if you harmonize the melody only with these chords. But no, if any of the chords we play in between are not one of those, the feeling of the melody will change at the moment. Let's change this chord as an example. I couldn't say it was wrong or poor, but as you observed, once I used another chord, the melody character changed. To get off topic, I'll use just the chords above. If you practice this course on the piano for a few days, you will be able to achieve melody and harmony simultaneously. Lots of practical exercises are needed. For example, I created this short musical idea by playing melody and harmony together.
So we have done our lecture. Dear course members, sometimes I have doubts about whether I'm explaining the subject clearly, because I might be speeding up too much at some point, and this raises a question mark in your mind. To remove this doubt, please compose a small melody on the piano, according to the task of this lesson, and share it in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you soon.